In today's video, we talk about exercise in a fasted or fed state. What's going on guys? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and I saw an interesting article and I thought I would share it with you. Um, I do want to announce that the winners of the Core Nutritionals giveaway were found in the video. So what I'm going to do is message them through their YouTube channels. If you saw your name come up and you don't get a message from me, just email me, paul at ProPhysique.com and I will get you your gift certificates for a $100 purchase at CoreNutritionals.com. If you did not win and you still want some awesome Core Nutritionals product, you can always use my code year-round, PaulR20. You get 20% off everything at CoreNutritionals.com. It only works there. It does not work at any other sites. Um, so thank you guys for, for entering and trying. And the cool thing is anything you purchase, the, uh, the code that you use is going to just give yourselves more of a chance to win because what happens is I get the kickback. Instead of asking for the money, I just ask for gift certificates to give to you guys because I want to share the wealth. Core Nutritionals has uh, the best products out there and I'm happy to be an athlete for Doug Miller and all the Core Nutritionals team. So there you go guys. The more you use it, the more you get back free. All right, so let's talk about the topic at hand which is a study I saw which could be very misleading. All right, so the topic of this article, uh, this study that came out basically said they took obese individuals and had them walk for 60 minutes at 60% of their VO2 max. And during that time, they were either fasted or they had had a large carbohydrate meal two hours prior. And they looked at the amount of fat that they burn during that session. And lo and behold, the fasted group did burn more fat. Now this, this research study was actually about gene expression. So they weren't looking at the, uh, the health overall picture. And so that's what I want to get into because I think what's going to happen um, when a mainstream media or uh, a newspaper or an article, they pick up on this site and this is where they get their quotes from, right? They get a quote and it's basically going to say, exercise fasted burns more fat, which if you read this article, that's actually what it showed. What it doesn't show is the overall day of the individual, the health of the individual. It didn't show what fat loss looked like 24 hours, 48 hours, or 72 hours later because as we know, the research on that shows that individuals who do cardio in a fed state when calories are equal, burn more total calories, therefore burn more fat. So it's just a misleading discussion. But again, I'm not upset about this article, I'm upset about how it's going to get used because you see this article was not looking at exercise in the population that I typically deal with. So the term exercise, when I think about exercise, I think I'm gonna go to the gym and exercise later, right? I'm gonna go, what's today for me? Today's leg day, so I'm gonna do some squats, some deadlifts, some leg curl, leg extensions, some uh, split leg squats, I'm gonna have a fun leg day. That's my exercise. But this article discusses exercise as basically walking and I don't consider walking exercise. Anything that's that aerobic, walking, um, you know, I consider that neat. Non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So calories we burn through non-exercise activities. But technically, this is exercise because they, they were tracking um, their intensity that they were going at and they were, you know, they were exercising. And for an overweight person, walking can be quite a good exercise. So it's a cognitive thing for me to think of exercise. And I think when, when we use the word exercise, it's all based on the individual, what they will see there. Now, let's talk a little bit about what we should actually be doing for exercise. Now, should you be training with resistance, with power, with strength, with trying to build muscles in a fasted state? That's also very debatable. I myself would not do it. I have done it in the past and I've had great training sessions, but Training in a fasted state, while previously being very well fed, means you can store glycogen, um, so you'll have that available for use while you train. But my sessions tend to be a little bit more intense than that, and I don't want to rely only on the fact that I ate 12 hours ago that my sessions are gonna be that good, right? So, especially in trained individuals, 
who can turn over glycogen very quickly, who can have very low glycogen levels because we're constantly training, um, especially if you're in a caloric deficit and you're constantly worried about losing body fat, then it gets even more important that meal timing. Uh, the leaner I get, the more important meal timing becomes, um, especially as a data point of myself, I've noticed a big difference uh, the leaner I've gotten. Um, whereas when you've got a little bit of body fat, I think you can go a little bit longer between meals. I don't think fasting would be such an issue. So my suggestion would be not, not to do weight training or resistance training in a fasted state. Now, if it works for you and you're happy with it and your training's going great, I'm all for it. These are just my suggestions. As far as cardio in a fasted state, the only time I'm really a fan of it is if it's part of your lifestyle and that you need to do it because you do it at such an hour that you just can't possibly eat. Um, and I don't have a problem with steady state so much as I do with high intensity intervals. So if you're doing uh, anaerobic sprints, right, where you're not going to be um, doing steady state cardio, the more aerobic stuff, if you're doing anaerobic where you're just sprinting hard for like 20, 30 seconds, I would much prefer someone to be in a fed state because the importance of the intervals is what's most important when it comes to how successful hit cardio is. So if you start to fade and start to get tired, your training isn't as good, you don't get as good of results, right? Your results won't be as good as if you were fed. So it, at the end of the day, it all comes down to preference and what you believe is probably gonna have the greatest impact on you. If you believe that being fasted is better for you and you go into the gym and train really hard because you're believing that, then I'm all for it because the psychology is very important. But when we look at the overall picture, I would much prefer someone to be in a fed state for cardio, for training, to get the most out of those two scenarios and uh, make the most progress. All right, guys, I just thought I'd share. I'll link that study below so you can look it over for yourselves. Um, and again, don't get mad about what the study shows because Again, you have to look at what the researchers were looking for. They were looking for gene expression, which might not have a whole lot of relation to what we do, right? They were looking at overweight individuals. But my fear is that uh, some magazine or some website is gonna use this study and make a quote about it somewhere and say, look, this shows being fat. And then you're just gonna read the, the top print. You're not gonna really delve into what the study actually showed. And then here we go with uh, having to have this conversation for another month, six months, year, years, right? Um, anyway, guys, that's it. Hope you have a great week, and uh, we'll talk tomorrow.